Because St. Paul says in your Bible that the man of the flesh cannot understand the man of the spirit, but the man of the spirit can see through the man of the flesh. Hello there, everybody. Thanks for tuning in again for another spiritual warfare video here on my channel. I will be covering about what Father Jim Blunt had said about rosaries, and I believe it will be really helpful for you and me to know and remind ourselves in our battles against the powers of darkness. Father Jim reminded us that we need two, three, and four rosaries a day. All of us do because the battle is about to get intense. This is down to our society has thrown out the Ten Commandments. We have thrown our Jesus. We have thrown out common sense. More and more people are turning to atheism, dabble with witchcraft, turning to paganism, turning our world into a godless world. Father Jim put it this way about the rosary. If you do only one holy rosary a day, that's because it keeps you from drowning or in other words, treading water. We keep ourselves from drowning in misery, despair, and sin. And so one holy rosary a day is good. But if you do two rosaries a day, instead of treading water, you start to swim. You start to make progress and you are growing in the spiritual life. If you do three rosaries a day, you will have really made real progress and if by any chance you are able to do four rosaries a day, you stop swimming and you start walking on top of the water. This is how Father Jim put his analogy together. When you pray for rosaries a day, you start walking on top of the water and start becoming like Jesus. And now I would like to share the end times prayer that Father Jim shares as well. And I really call this, I call this an end times prayer. We're going to say the prayer ourselves first, okay? Let's say it now. And you can say it after me, line by line, okay? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Would you say this after me, beloved? This will protect us right now. It'll blind any demons that are trying to invade us right now. It'll blind them and paralyze them. My adorable Jesus, My adorable Jesus. May, our feet may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen.